Now remember, it's never easy to pinpoint just why China chooses to release propaganda military videos at any particular time. But the release of this fresh tranche of Galvan videos could have something to do with the Indian Navy's increased military posture and flex in the Indian Ocean. I'm just speculating, but it's possible. In the week gone by, India flaunted its two aircraft carriers, the INS Vikramaditya and the beautiful indigenous INS Vikrant in the Arabian Sea. Take a look at this pair of scintillating videos that the Indian Navy put out. Now, this mesmerizing footage is in very sharp contrast to China's continuing failure to master the capability of operating aircraft carriers. Like India, China operates two operational aircraft carriers, but according to a Reuters report, experts believe it could be more than a decade before China can mount a credible aircraft carrier threat far from its shores. Now, India's induction of its first indigenous aircraft carrier, INS Vikrant, in September last year, followed by an uninterrupted global spotlight on this exceptionally high-quality warship, could well have been a source of irritation for China, whose navy enjoys a far faster supply of warships, but of undeniably lower quality. And this isn't propaganda. Chinese mal, lower quality, it's true across the board. Now, the INS Vikrant has, endless, has enjoyed endless time in the limelight for months now, thanks to deck landings by Indian Navy fighters, notching up its capabilities that China is at the same time working very, very hard, struggling to master. Now, not for a moment is one to suggest that China doesn't have a capability or that it isn't working hard or that it won't have the capability. And no light should be made of this fact. But in this propaganda world, China sees perception of strength on equal terms as strength itself. And in today's world, its aircraft carriers are a source of stubbornly dubious curiosity and embarrassment to China more than anything else. And amidst all this annoyance, the sight of India's two aircraft carriers in a stunning flex out on the Arabian Sea must have been the straw that broke the Chinese donkey's back. It may or may not have been the trigger that broke the dam of Chinese Galwan propaganda videos, but you can see where I'm going with this viewer. The Indian Navy's exercise with two proud aircraft carriers isn't designed as a posture against the Chinese, but in a world where China sees India as a roadblock and a military force to reckon with. India's messaging and messages may not have any particular recipient, but all of these messages always land in at least one inbox. That's the truth about where China stands right now. I want to go across to India today's National, uh, National Bureau Chief uh, Abhishek Bhalla, who has tracked the Indian Navy's capabilities very, very closely over the last few years. Uh, you know, Abhishek, we've seen a lot of Chinese propaganda recently. Uh, leaving that aside, this amazing footage that the Indian Navy put out over the weekend of the two aircraft carriers, uh, you know, this is not a small thing. This is a great deal of power projection. There's a great deal of muscle flexing. There's a huge amount of messaging going on as well. And I can imagine that this must have been a source of annoyance for the Chinese as well. Uh, well, Shiv, uh, one thing that stands out uh, about those images uh, from the weekend uh, when uh, the two aircraft carriers were seen uh, operating uh, together in the Arabian Sea, along with their fleet, uh, more than 30 aircraft deployed, it also sent a bigger message. And that message, Shiv, is how uh, the, the, the message that is being sent from India's uh, security establishment, that has seen a change. Uh, a few years uh, earlier, you wouldn't have uh, these kind of uh, images, pictures, uh, this narrative being set uh, by the Indian security establishment. Rather, the Indian security establishment would be very uh, careful in putting out these images, saying that these things should not be in public domain. Uh, the way we are exercising should not be put out. But that's clearly changed. And one reason uh, that uh, this change uh, has come about, Shiv, is exactly because of what you were showing a little while earlier. The aggressive posturing that China does, the public perception that they try to set, uh, and, and that's something that India has realized needs to be taken on and needs to be taken on quite hard. And over the last three years, yeah. we've seen, be it uh, 
images and pictures like the ones that have come out from Galwan now, every time something like this happens, India has a counter to that. And India has been setting out another message that this is not a social media war uh, that uh, the Indian uh, military establishment wants to get into. It's a professional military establishment, but it will not allow propaganda to take over facts.